Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Ali Shamo here. As you requested, here it is the Yuxiang F06. All open so you can see the guts of this helicopter. So let's get to work and let's talk about those questions and some very important points in this video. So watch this video all the way. All right, people, welcome to the internals of Yuxiang F06. After opening a whole lot of screws, and they are very tiny, so be very, very careful. When you open, uh, take out, take off the uh, main rotor, also see that there are these plastic shims. You don't lose them, otherwise the rotors will have a play, which it does not affect, but it's still, it's better not to have that play. So, after opening all those screws, this is the internal guts that you wanted to see. Uh, a rear motor, tail motor line coming all the way down here to its ESC, tail ESC. So I'm just going to pull it out. Okay, be very careful not to damage anything. So now if you are looking at the helicopter from the tail, the right side has been separated. I'm just going to put it here and one screw just dropped from it. So I'm just going to put down there. Now coming back here to the helicopter this is the front LED all right gone and one moment yes down here have the you know down downward facing camera for optical flow gone and then we have these LED light controls right here I'm not gonna remove them so this is this right here now here is the main unit okay it has three servos and a very strange layout but removing these servos should be easy and replacing should be easy because you don't have to remove any screw you just have to pull this part up and remove the servo I believe this is all it has and then you just connect these three servos to this side of flight controller okay and there's an antenna right here okay and, and the main motor cables are soldered right here there's one more unit down here uh, soldered for the battery okay so the battery power comes in okay and at this side I don't see anything on the flight controller okay I think there is an LED or a button I'm not sure let me just see my eyesight is getting weak as well man getting old sucks right yeah it's just an LED okay it's just an LED there's no button down there <clears throat> now I have no info if uh, this will be able to bind with you know uh, Futaba or um, Radio Master using the SFHSS protocol but we can dig in more hold on all right so that screw is slipped and stuck I was able to heat up one little scissor and cut that part out so that I can show you inside now this is your ESC right here okay and nothing much to see here there's an ESC that the uh, wires coming from the you know battery side and this you have seen this co uh, connector right here for the motor and then above the ESC we have this unit with one vibration damped uh, you know PCB installed here and I believe this is the heart and soul of this helicopter so it has a built-in receiver as you can see the antenna is coming there's no button at all anywhere that says to bind you know so there's no way I can put it in bind but as soon as you turn on the helicopter the receiver should be in bind mode okay and will it bind with radio master you know HTX multi-protocol radios or Futaba that's still a question 
I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. So those were the internal guts of this helicopter and here is the radio controller. Now I opened the radio controller because I wanted to just, you know, I was hoping that I get a slight idea as somewhere any writing will say something uh, and we will know what protocol they are using, but it seems like they have developed their own proprietary protocol and they do not want to give you any information about what type of protocol it is. It just says Yuxiang Fire Dragon something something version 1.3. Okay, and there is no other information. And there's nothing here that says anything about the protocol. So I just tried almost all the protocols on uh, Edge TX, Radio Master Boxer, Multi Protocol Radio, and unfortunately, nothing binds to this now there may be something something that we will be able to bind those radios to this helicopter But only if Yu Xiang is willing to give us a hint on what protocol they are using. Until then, well, you are stuck with this radio to fly this helicopter. So now, as I mentioned, we are stuck with this radio, this proprietary radio with a proprietary, you know, protocol, control protocol for this helicopter. And so far, I have not found any protocol on radio master boxer htx multi-protocol radio that actually binds to this however i will keep trying and i will keep searching if any of the followers uh, have any kind of information or anybody gets successful to bind any multi-protocol radio controller to this helicopter please comment on this video and let us know what protocol worked for you so I will also keep on trying on this radio one by one. There are a lot of protocols to try and see if we get, if we get successful to bind this helicopter to this radio. And then it is a totally different story. Until then, well, stay tuned to my channel. You know what to do next. Subscribe and most important, hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications so you stay updated for the upcoming uploads. Now let me know in the video comments now also, let me know in the video comments, what else would you like to see about this Yuxiang F-06 helicopter? Now I'm gonna put it back together and hopefully it will fly again. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.